So imagine you could edit your photos really, really good, really, really fast without having much knowledge about color theory or complicated uh, program settings and all that fancy stuff. Well, that's how I edited these photos and I think they came out pretty stinking good. So to do this, we actually use artificial intelligence within the program called Luminar Neo by Skylum. And in today's video, I wanted to share with y'all some of the new advanced artificial intelligence features of this program that can help you get results like this too. Quick disclaimer, this is not a review video. So the company that makes this program is sponsoring today's video, but basically we're just going over some of their new features and highlighting them in a fun way. So I thought I'd bring up some pictures from my trip to Europe last year that I haven't shown on the channel. And I wanted to show y'all how I use some of their AI features to get some really, really good looking results in my opinion. So even though this program has all sorts of AI fancy pants features, they still have the develop tab where you can do all your normal stuff just like you would do in Lightroom. And fun fact, you can actually use this as a plugin with Lightroom too, if you like both programs. So you're able to do all your normal professional raw adjustments within the program super easily if that's what you're already used to. This is probably one of my favorite photos of all time that I've taken. Uh, I know it looks like an aerial photo, but it was actually shot from this building called the Sky Garden in London. But look at all that detail you can get. With the develop tool, I was able to bring back all those highlights and get all the information that I wanted in there clearly, because obviously it was not a clear sunny day. And then I was able to recompose it into kind of a super wide cinematic looking perspective, which I think I'm probably gonna get this as a print. Let me know what you think in the comments. So my favorite tool in this program is called Color Harmony. And the cool thing about it is that if you have a photo where a lot of stuff kind of looks the same tone wise, you can just slide this slider up a little bit and it shifts the hues around to where they end up landing more on complementary colors so your overall image pops a lot more because it really brings out that color contrast within your image. So I really liked how it turned out on this one, making that water and the buildings really, really complement each other. And it's that easy and it's custom tailored artificial intelligence to your exact image. So compared to other programs, that is just a huge relief. And I think the results look really, really good. So for this one, shot in Verona, Italy, I just went through and did this color harmony effect using the AI and it really boosted that color contrast between the water, the buildings, the sky, and the trees. They were all kind of landing on the same spot when I started out, but by adding these AI effects it really brought them out and I think made this image pop. It almost looks like it's like a painting or something. Another cool feature that is super handy is Enhance AI. And as you see, when you slide the slider up, uh, basically it just enhances the whole photo. It makes it look better. So you can do as much of this as you want to or as little as you want to, or you can even just use this as a reference to see where you might be able to go with your edit with the other features. So once we're done with the enhancing tab, I went down to finish this one up with the color tab where you can remove color cast. And since this one was shot through a window, took out that green tint and made it look a lot more natural and color accurate. And the next feature that I think y'all are really gonna like is the super contrast. So it's really cool. Basically it divides the contrast into highlights, midtones, and shadows, and you get a little bit more interesting control over them kind of like if you were adding a curve in the color grading or something. So you can pull down the highlights, you can pull up the midtones, you can pull up the shadows and get a nice high dynamic range photo out of this. And the ones that I'm editing in this are just one raw photo. So without even having to use HDR, I'm getting some really good results. And I think it really brought out this street photo I did in Milan of these bikers in the distance showing all sorts of different ways of transportation and people moving and doing stuff. I just really like this photo because I think it has a lot of depth. And with these tools, I was able to add some fog to it and 
create a little bit more of a surreal looking atmosphere, which I probably wouldn't have done normally. This photo is looking up at the Sky Garden, which those other photos, the cityscapes of London, were shot in. And I'm just going in, showing you how quick it can be. You don't have to do all that fancy stuff. I just threw on their preset. Yes, the Sky Replacement preset is pretty funny when it's not needed. <laughs> but we're just going into the normal develop tab changing some stuff up a little bit and then we're going to enhance the sky and the overall photo and then it's got this super handy landscape tab where you can dehaze stuff you can make it look a little more warm like golden hour my favorite and you can even do foliage enhancer which will make all your greens pop a bit more so really handy for a lot of landscape or hdr photos same thing for this one we're going in doing a preset I'm going to go ahead and do the sky replacement on this one because it was a little bit overexposed. And what's really cool about this is that it even shows up on the water with the blue sky reflection as if that was the real color of the sky reflecting on the water. So you can dial it back as much as you want to to look more realistic or more creative, whichever one you like, depending on what you're doing and what your style is. And then we're just going to recompose this and be done with it. So that was just a quick edit. Now we're done with that one. And this is one of my all time favorite ones too. Honestly, uh, this is definitely going in my architecture lifestyle portfolio because it combines everything. It's got the two people kind of cheersing over their coffee in the distance. You see the skyline of London and to enhance this one even more, I went in with their sun rays tool where you can add a sun glare coming in through the window because I thought that would just bring your attention a little bit more to where the guy is with the coffee because otherwise it's a little bit of a busy photo didn't have as shallow of a depth of field as I probably would have wanted to and I think in a really subtle way this enhances the photo a lot by drawing your eyes in towards the people and their experience all right, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this, but if you're not following me, you should go follow me. Uh, so this was shot just the other week in Virginia. This is a peach orchard blooming. And you guys know I love to use Dodge and Burn to really enhance the composition and force the viewer to focus in on what I want them to. So in this one, I use Dodge and Burn around the edges and on some of the stuff in the background to darken it so that you get a little more contrast and you focus more on the peach orchard blooming which is beautiful and apparently it's even better looking right now but I'm probably not going back <laughs> so I typically stick to pretty simple and minimal natural looking edits but one thing I really like about working in new programs or getting new presets or anything to change it up is that it has the potential to get me out of my comfort zone creatively and try some new stuff, which I think can really help you grow as an artist. So for example, with this program, I think it really pushed me to do a little bit more stylized photos that are a bit more colorful and dynamic. And honestly, I'm really happy with the results. These are some of my favorite photos I've ever done. And on one of my most memorable trips that I've ever done. So I'm pretty picky about how these are coming out and gotta say, two thumbs up from me. <laughs> Now, could I have gotten these same edits in another program, doing my normal methods? Probably, but it would have taken a little while longer. It would have taken a lot more previous knowledge about color theory and composition and all that stuff. So I think having some intuitive artificial intelligence stuff like this that does a lot of the guesswork for you could be really, really beneficial if you really wanna speed up the time that it takes to get some good results. And on top of all that, their user interface is just super simple and easy to figure out, especially if you're brand new to photography. But anyways, I thought this was super interesting and it's cool to see companies doing things a bit differently. Um, I really appreciate that they don't have the subscription model as the only option because I know there's lots and lots of us that just hate that that's the way it is now. Big thanks to Luminar for sponsoring this video and don't forget if you're interested in getting this program 
you can get 10% off with my code Taylor Brown or the link down below the video for the Pro and Explore subscriptions or if you purchase the program using their lifetime option. Of course, no pressure, but if you're gonna get it, might as well get 10% off. But that's about it for this video. Let me know if you wanna see more content about travel photography or videography, because honestly, it is my absolute favorite thing ever. It just brings all the things like culture, food, photography, videography, creativeness, uh, experiences, all that stuff together. And it is the main thing that inspires me, honestly. If you're new, thanks so much for being here and sticking to the end. If you're old and been around for a while, thanks so much for your continued support. And as always, you know that I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.